Thanks, Ted. Good. Welcome back to the KCRA3 experience at the Arden Fair Mall. We're here. Right. David Kovar from Kovar Satori Academy of Martial Arts. And we're learning how to protect yourself. It's something that you probably don't think about until the worst thing happens. Mm -hmm. And then you go, what should I have done? So you're here to explain maybe how to protect yourself, your loved ones, you're out and about in the public. Yeah. What should you do? Starting out with, it's really important to remember to avoid, it's common sense, but to avoid a potentially dangerous situation. You know, it's kind of, you want to create safe habits. If you ever find mm -hmm. yourself, when do you get gas? Do you make sure your, your car doors are locked? Right. Uh, when you shop, do you do it with a friend? Do you park in well-lit areas? All stuff that we know, but sometimes we forget. Right. And so really the trick is we usually know what to do to be, live a safer life. We just kind of sometimes don't do what we should. Right. So that's step number one. If you're ever confronted by somebody that makes you uncomfortable, uh -huh. there's a really easy rule that's called be calm and breathe. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you take a step back and take a breath. Because then you're able to think a little bit clearer. Right. Okay. Right. And then you would decide how to respond. Right. And I think the most important thing about self-defense is to communicate confidence. And that is how do you carry yourself? When you wander around, do you appear to be a victim or do you appear to be someone that's assertive and, 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 and confident? And how you really can do that is simple stuff. We know it's shoulders back, chin up, eye contact, clear tonality. But a lot of people don't take the time to really train themselves to do that. And it's an interesting fact that the average bad guy does not have an alternative plan. They have an alternative victim. Right. Meaning if you appear confident, the bad guy's going to go, you know what not that person not every time right. it's about guarantee if you and then if you're ever confronted it's a, uh, there's some steps that we can go through if i can demonstrate that yeah angelina is here your wife this your lovely wife, wife. Now, right. i'll tell you first off that angelina and i are probably about five foot nothing so <laughs> we're here to say you know sh you're here to show us that you know even if you're small you don't have to be a victim if you use just simple absolutely techniques. Go you ahead know and it's show like it. a, the size of someone's the weight of someone's nose is not a lot so you put all your weight to it to a big guy attackers the right strike zone and you can be very effective right so the first thing is if i was to confront her so that she would step back if she really felt threatened she would create space be and then she would be very assertive and say something like back off or no hey lady back off Oh, just like so. Now, I'm not thinking, oh, no, she can kick my rear. <laughs> but I am thinking, this is going to be a little more work than I thought. So right. that alone may be enough for me to go, no, lady, no problem. Right, okay? right. But let's just say, let's just for fun, if uh, there's a lot of uh, strike zones on the body that are very effective that mm -hmm. don't take a lot of strength. And if you have the element of surprise, you can be very effective. For example, let me see. I'm going to... Oh, hey, hey. Okay, hey. so let's think about what she just did there for wow. a minute. Wow. A little close for me there, young lady. Okay, the first <laughs> thing she did, she went into the throat, which kind of got me to, to loosen my grip. We call it brain to pain. She's no, and then he, she cleared the hands away now that she had the power to do so, and she palmed like in the nose and then struck in the groin. Okay, a okay. very similar Simple technique. Thing. Simple things. If I grab her wrist, the, basically the same thing hey, hey, again. Hey. And so there she goes, that same thing. It's like a magnet being drawn right, right. to the nose. So you're saying simple things because we got to wrap it up. Absolutely. Little things go yes. for the face yes. or the palm of the hand. That's a strong point for a woman. You got and it. you said the forearm tour, which is yes. what we were practicing with. Right, exactly. Go ahead and give him a whack. But you first, take that confidence mm -hmm. stance you if got you can. It. Absolutely. David Kovars from uh, Kovars at Centauri Academy you got Martial it. Arts. Yes. Wanted to get that right. Walt, we're going to go back inside to you. Thank you so much. Right. That was yeah. wonderful. Thank you.